and we're back <laughs> oh god so I, st I finally get this to unfreeze and then i go to start taping and my phone goes your battery's low and we're going to die good gravy <clears throat> So I'm sorry guys. Okay, um, this post was made um, the same day, so it must have been later in the evening. This is just not good. Not good. Not going to work for me. All right. Uh, so I said, first off, I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for the huge outpouring of support. It means more than any words I can express to both of us, and God bless you all. And it was just astounding. I mean, I, I met people. Um, showed up at the hospital, uh, you know, guys that my husband has worked with for 30 years um, that he's, he talks about all the time and I hear all of them, but I had never met them in person. And these people just randomly showed up two hours away from home because they live in Toronto um, to come and see him in the hospital. Every I guess everyone at work was just stunned when they heard what had happened because they all know he doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, doesn't do drugs. He doesn't, you know, he's a healthy guy except for you know again it's you know he likes his ice cream a bit too much or did at the time so the outpouring of support was just out of this world out of this world um so i said elfie update for a man who on sunday morning had little to no speech almost no movement coordination in his left hand and arm and was unable to stand or weight bear he has come up in leaps and bounds today his speech is 99 percent back to normal and it was, it was, it was once he started to speak, it was like, it just all came back and it was amazing. Amazing. Um, his left hand arm, although weak and uncoordinated is coming along amazingly. And he has now gone from three people trying to transfer him to me or a staff member, simply supporting his elbow for balance and guidance. And walking, yes, you heard that right, walking a short distance with the support of a walker and again with me or staff in tow for safety. So just basically walking along beside him, you know, or walking behind him with your hands sort of on his hips. Just, you're not holding him up. You're not supporting his weight in any way. Just sort of, you know, for balance, right? Um, in just a few short days, he has improved dramatically. I know in my heart that this is due in part to his stubborn, tenacious self and largely in part to the love and support we both received from those who care during this difficult, scary time. I thank you all again. Please keep the prayers and good healing thoughts coming, vibes coming, love to all. So that was, that was on the 18th <clears throat> of May. And, oh gosh. <sighs> oh boy we're gonna pause again okay okay back again oh my god i'm such a newbie guys i'm gonna have to figure out how to string all this together so it makes any sense whatsoever okay so this post was made on may 19th 2016 the following day so it says um kelly griffin was feeling grateful with fonts <laughs> um and it says, Elfie update, my husband is truly a miracle. He, we had been told Monday morning that the MRI had shown an ischemic stroke in the cerebellum, which is right back here in the back of your head. That was bad enough. I had requested that his doctor call me as I was getting all info secondhand through Fonts, who has a hard enough time with medical mumbo jumbo at the best of times, and of course is now dealing with memory challenges and info overload. So my doc calls me, the doc calls me this morning to say that he had not just the stroke in the cerebellum, but also in the occipital, which means the, which explains the right sided vision loss. And I, I should have said there the left occipital lobe. So your occipital lobe is right above your cerebellum back here. So he had a left sided occipital stroke, which blew out the vision in, in his right eye. So that was why he was blind in the right eye. Um, and also had the third stroke in the right temporal lobe, so right here, uh, which explains the left-sided effects and loss of use coordination. So my darling had not one but three simultaneous strokes in three areas of his brain in under 10 minutes, and he continues to improve literally hour by hour. He is amazing. Neither one of us can wait for him to be re rehabilitated enough to come home 
Home is all we want right now. But of course, it needs to be safe. They said best case scenario at this point may be early to mid next week, which is pretty amazing when you consider the man had like three strokes in 10 minutes. Um, depending on how well he responds to physio and occupational therapies, we are shooting for next Tuesday, May 24th, our second wedding anniversary. Keep the prayers and positive vibes coming, folks. It truly is helping him to work miracles. Love to you from us. So that was May 19th. So we will pause again. And we're back. <laughs> okay, so this one is dated May 20th. So it says, Elfie update. So we dodged a bullet today. Turns out that the plaque buildup that caused the strokes in his is in his carotid arteries. Now this is this will change. Uh, one is 100% blocked and the other is moderately blocked, which equates to about 60%. Uh, there was serious question for most of the morning as to whether or not immediate surgery would be required. After consulting with both a vascular surgeon and a neurosurgeon, it was decided that the best course of action is to treat him medically. Translation equals a shit ton of meds and see if he responds that way. Hopefully, oh, also to monitor the those arteries regularly. Hopefully this plan works and surgery won't be needed in the future. What a relief. For now, he continues to improve at an hourly rate like no one I have ever seen. And don't forget, folks, I spent 20 plus years taking care of a lot of stroke patients. God is good and my husband is a miracle in more ways than one. Still shooting for Tuesday release on our anniversary. Keep the prayers and vibes coming. Our love to all. So that was from May 20th. So we're going to pause again. And we're back again. <laughs> so this one, I, I don't know. They seem to be going out of order. I'm not sure. So this is a picture of me and, and Honey Pie lying in his hospital bed. And it's in that little short, like, 30-second video <laughs> that I made. Um, it says, me and Elfie selfie. Update. My honey continues to literally improve by the hour. Most of his right field of vision is back. Just a small area of loss left but getting better and better. Keep the prayers and positive thoughts coming. They are working. Still praying for a Tuesday anniversary release. So then we have the next one. Sorry. One moment. Hello. <laughs> We're back. This one is dated May 23rd, 2016. And this is... I used to take them out in the garden... Um, outside sort of in like this back little courtyard outside of the hospital very very quiet back there all the cherry trees were in bloom all the lilacs were in bloom it was absolutely beautiful and really peaceful and quiet back there and he and I used to go back there and practice his physiotherapy with his with his uh, left hand and whatnot and this picture says yep I know we both look exhausted and like these past eight days have aged us 10 years and we do look that way in these pictures let me tell you Fingers crossed for tomorrow's release from hospital and are celebrating our second anniversary at home where we belong. So, pause again. And here's the best one yet. This is published on May 24th, 2016 on our second anniversary and it says, Best day ever. God is truly good. My baby's coming home today. Happy anniversary to us. And that was all the the uh, Elfie updates that I was that we were doing every day um, from the hospital just to sort of keep um, everyone informed because as I had said before there was such a huge outpouring it was unbelievable um, and it was it was almost impossible for me to keep up with like all the phone calls the text messages the private messages you know on on Messenger on Facebook. Um, so we just decided that um, this is how we would do it. And then everyone, friends, family, everyone, everywhere, because my husband's from Newfoundland, right? So a lot, over half of his family, I guess, or about half of his family is um, still down home in Newfoundland. So, you know, you can imagine how difficult it is on them to have a family member down here, you know, have a sudden serious life-threatening medical emergency happen and they're way the heck down there. And for those of you that 
maybe don't know Canada's geography too well, um, that is half a country away and Canada is a big country. So um, it did help everyone stay informed. And I mean, I certainly didn't share anything too, um, you know, personal or in depth or too much um, that might be considered, you know, inappropriate or anything like that. Um, just, you know, updates on how he just, and literally he kept improving hour by hour. I've never seen anything like it ever um to literally sit there and and sit at his bedside and watch him improve literally hour by hour was just an absolute miracle but it was in large part to himself once he um you know got close enough to the surface again where he um you know was became aware of where he was and was cognitive enough to understand what had happened to him because for those first three days that no he was not able couldn't speak um you know left side of paralysis right side of loss of vision um and just really really out of it obviously he has you know brain injury in three areas of his brain so um once he got um with it enough so to speak um to understand you're in the hospital honey you've had three strokes and um once physio and occupational got involved and they said to him listen if you work really hard we're going to get you out of here we're going to get you home with your wife where you belong so this is what you need to do if you want to go home and he said show me what to do and that was it and he worked his fucking ass off and i'm not even gonna pardon my french um, he worked really, really, really hard. And there were times when, you know, he was so frustrated that, that, you know, he would be in tears or he would be angry. He would be, you know, I mean, it's, it's frustrating. You go to use your hand, just like this, is my right hand, obviously, but go to use your hand to scratch your own shoulder and you can't, I mean, how many times, um, he would poke himself in the eye or he had like a big scratch up the side of his nose one day um, because he just went to raise his left hand to, I don't know, maybe do this, wipe your eye or something. And he would just, bam, punch himself right in the face or whatever. Um, and it took, you know, I mean, he's still, his left hand is still, um, has some loss of coordination and um, becomes more um, apparent when he's, I'm not looking at you, am I? Becomes more apparent when he's um, really tired. Uh, when the fatigue hits, it hits like a ton of bricks. And I think I've already said this and I'm probably repeating myself, but, um, when the fatigue does hit him and it will hit him just out of the blue, um, he needs to lie down like right now, or he will literally fall down where he's standing. And as soon as he lies, as soon as he's in a horizontal position, he goes out like a light snores like you know i've vacuumed like literally you know well not vacuumed but carpet swept because i can't vacuum anymore i have a little carpet sweeper a little you know you don't even plug it in it's one of the old-fashioned carpet sweepers works a dream um underneath him or you know the tv is blaring my phone is ringing you know whatever and he's just out like a light and when he wakes up from that he wakes up refreshed and you know ready to go again so um, but yeah, so that's the, uh, there's a fly in here. <laughs> that's our mosquito or something. That was all the, um, Elfie updates that we did from the hospital. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to try to splice this video together somehow to make it all make sense. Wish me luck. And if anybody out there, please, I'm begging you. Um, if you know how to get something from your Facebook that you've posted that, isn't a video that's photos and and text something that you've written to go along with the photo if anybody knows how to transfer that from facebook to youtube please oh please oh please help me i have googled it like i don't even know and there's so many um videos like whether they're a youtube video or whether they're just a video you find on google um, where the people are so much more techy than me and they're going way too fast. And I'm like, wait, what, what, what did he say? What? And I'm keep hitting pause and like backing up and I don't know. Anyway, so if you can sort of, you know, tell me an easy way to do it, then please feel free to do so. So, um, if you are watching this on, um, YouTube, which you will be actually, because I've already put all this on the blog. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please give us a like, give us a thumbs up and hit that little red subscribe button down below and hit the little bell icon so that you'll be notified when I post a new video, vid video, video. Yeah, that's good. Video. <laughs> oh my God. It's been a long day. 
anyway, love you all. And um, I'm going to be posting another video shortly. Okay. Love you. Mwah.